Well, hello everyone. Welcome to Winnie Women Wednesday with Lady Renee of Transformation Community Church. Thank you all so much for tuning in today and I pray that all is well with each and every one of you. Well, today I just stop by to encourage us to be ready, amen? Be ready. Um, Matthew 24, um, Jesus speaks about the future and he tells us about the great deception that will come when many will um, you know, falsely say that I am the Christ and many will be led astray, right? So Jesus spoke of wars and rumors of wars and he said that many will fall away um, um, many will betray one another and many will hate one another, right? But then he also spoke of his return and how he will appear with power and glory. Amen. And so he spoke of the day um, and the hour that no one knows, right? Not even the angels of heaven, um, not even the son, but the father only knows the day and the hour that he will return. And so all throughout Matthew 24, perhaps that Jesus was setting the groundwork for the parable of the 10 virgins in Matthew um, 25, 1 through 13. And I'd like to share that in its entirety, okay? And so it reads, then the kingdom of heaven would be like ten virgins who took their lamps and went to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were foolish and five were wise. The foolish ones took their lamps but did not take any oil with them. The wise ones, however, took jars of oil with their lamps as the bridegroom was with their lamps, excuse me, and as the bridegroom was delayed, they all became drowsy and slept. But at midnight, Somebody say at midnight, somebody's change is happening at midnight. Amen. At midnight, there was a cry. Here is the bridegroom come out to meet him. Then all those virgins rose and trimmed their lamps. And the foolish said to the wise, give us, give us some of your oil for our lamps are going out. But the wise answer saying, since there would not be enough for us and for you, then, you know, you need to go down to the dealer and go get your own. <laughs> Amen. And so while they were going to buy, the bridegroom came and those who were ready went in with him to the marriage feast and the door was shut. Afterward, the other versions came also saying, Lord, Lord, open um open to us but he answered truly i say to you i do not know you and listen i know none of us want to hear those words amen so we have to be ready amen it says watch therefore for you know neither the day nor the hour and this is a very interesting parable because to me, it paints a picture of two types of people or two types of Christians, if you will. Uh, the wise, right? The wise Christian um, among us who is diligent when it comes to the things of God, but the foolish. The foolish among us are complacent. Um, the wise among us take heed to the warnings in the Bible. The foolish among us pay no mind to the warnings, right? They don't take it seriously. Um, they feel like that they have time, amen? Um, so the wise among us, they're prayerful. And they're patiently waiting, and they're expecting um, of of the Lord's, the Lord of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ's return. Excuse me, but the foolish, the foolish says, eh, tomorrow I'll pray tomorrow. You know, I'll read the Word tomorrow. I'll give my life to Christ tomorrow. You know, but listen, let me tell you some. As we all know, and as I shared a couple of weeks ago. Tomorrow, you know, we don't have time. Tomorrow is not promised to us, right? Later on today is not promised to us, let alone tomorrow, right? And so the wise is watchful, right? They, they see, they'll see the signs of the times and because they study God's word, right? But the foolish, they won't recognize it. Why? Because they didn't study God's word. They fall asleep, amen? They fall asleep and they will miss the signs because of lack of of knowledge. Amen. So I encourage us to pray for God's wisdom. He said if we lack it to ask him, you know, he gives it to us generously, right? Without reproach, right? So we have to pray for God's wisdom because we have to be wise in these times that we live in, right? Um, we, we have to be spirit filled. We have to be spirit led. Amen. And then we have to um, give our lives. We have to be ready for the return of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We have to be ready to, to receive him. We have to be ready for him to fulfill his promise, amen. So listen, 
Until next time, know that I love you, but God loves you so much more. Be intentional, love on purpose, be wise and be ready and not foolish and fall asleep. Blessings.